I would simply do a very light wash over the top here. So when we have something that's one uniform color, but it's super duper shiny or complex, the best thing that we can do is put mm -hmm. what's called the local color, mm -hmm. or the color it actually is, over the mm -hmm. top first. And the reason why is mm -hmm. if we get to the mm -hmm. point where um, we're seeing too much of like different colors in his cheek, for instance, or something, um, this background wash will help us to kind of unify the colors in there. All right, so I'm gonna do a couple different ones just because I don't have a physical paint to mix here. All right, so that's gonna be your step one. And then your step two, this a little smaller. We're going to take the shadow color. Um, I would definitely say probably not black black, but something maybe mixed with raw umber and black. That would probably be perfect for this. And what you can do next is just find where those shadows are. So I know there's a shadow here. So we don't necessarily have to do any, you know, extreme shadow mapping or anything. Um, I would just suggest that you make sure your bottom brown layer is dry, or is not dry, excuse me, before you do this. All right, so. color right next door. 
right? So it's interesting because when I isolate that color right next door, like we just did, right? It, it's not really that yellow. Like it doesn't really look super duper yellow. It looks more like peach, right? And the reason why it's turning up to be more yellow looking right next door is because of that purple color. So I actually had selected it before. It's the one with the check mark at the top. And that is actually, I'm going to use my watercolor tool again. That is actually the color here. Right? So it, it looks kind of grayish, but when it's right next to the color that we were talking about, it starts to look a little bit more bluish, almost toward purple. Right? So I thought that was pretty interesting. And then we also have maybe up here and above his eye, his or her eye, kind of a purple looking color as well. Right? So I can actually go in and find all of the cold colors after I've put in our main three colors. I think that's our best bet. So remember, it doesn't have to look exactly like the horse with all the little shiny stuff going on until the second layer you put on him, all right? Um, this is our first layer, so we're not super concerned with it, you know, looking three-dimensional or exactly like the photo yet. We're just trying to use our observational skills to find the basic colors and the basic shadows and lights that are going on. Do you have any questions about that? Does that stuff make sense to you? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So um, the last thing I want to do with you today <clears throat> is talk a little bit about the mane. So what I love about this photo is that the mane is kind of flying all over the place, which is pretty cool. Um, but I think what might help us to actually paint this in without it getting, you know, too stiff looking, is a fan brush. Do you have a fan brush at home? Yes. Yeah, awesome, good. Um, so I would definitely use one of those. And the thing with fan brushes is that you can't really um, use them to make individual hairs unless you water down the medium, okay? So I would suggest doing this on the first layer, and then you could always go in and add some little highlights and things um, next time after it's dry. So use a lot of the turpinoid and a little bit of, I would say like a bluish black or a purplish black. You could mix uh, ivory black and um, a lizard and crimson together. Those are usually pretty good ones to do. And I would just think about going in, and I don't have a fan brush tool here. I have this thing, but it gets a little crazy. Um, <laughs> so I think I'd rather use just this for now. Um, and what you're gonna do is come in here while the background's still wet, hopefully, um, and kind of just map out, just in black, where everything is, right? So I'm seeing like in here, there's some black here, some black here, and I'm not thinking about those highlights. Um, we're gonna go over those like in a second here. Okay, I'm gonna come in here. And really think of like putting more pressure on the brush when you first put it down onto the canvas and then as you brush it upward here, release that pressure, kind of make it go fast on the canvas. And it might get a little wild, but that's okay, because if it gets too wild, you can always wipe it down, all right? Um, otherwise, I found, just personally, I found like hair, if you don't do it like that, sometimes it looks stiff and weird. So we don't want that. <laughs> All right, so like I said, just one color, like you're doing a cartoon or something, all right? And then we're gonna take the lighter color here. I'm 
sense. There we go. It's kind of like a cold gray of sorts. And we can go ahead and make this a little smaller. There we go. Go ahead and just put down one little stroke where it gets lightest. So it's gonna look blocky at first. And don't be afraid. It should be okay, right? So little blocks like that, right? So I'm not trying to emulate the exact hair or anything like that, right? I'm gonna grab just a lighter color because I have a watercolor tool here that I'm using. <laughs> so it's gonna be a little lighter. Um, so I'm coming in here, just putting blocks in, once again with the fan brush, right? Trying to find those edges and everything. And then afterwards, what I'll do is I'll take a dry brush or, you know, you can go ahead and actually use your fan brush. Just make sure you wipe it off really well with a paper towel or something. Um, I'm going to use this. And what we can do then is start to manipulate the surface of the wet paint to get it to where we need it to be, right? So for instance, if this one got a little bit too light right by the base of his neck, then maybe, you know, you could push it out like that a little bit. So the black becomes a little bit more prevalent. And then also the same thing here, if you have like a little bit of black that needs to show through, like maybe in here or something, you can always Push that Can I ask you about the background behind the mane? Should right. we draw the black background behind the mane first? And Does then that the make mane? sense to you? 